Hello again, everyone. Um, we're very lucky today because I've got a helper with me. My granddaughter, Cleo, is here again. Go and say hello. Hello. Here she is. So we're going to be talking about this process that I've been doing for the last couple of videos where I've embossed a piece of card and added some black onto white card so that these opal polishes from Cosmic Shimmer would come out in two colours. So that's the one we did using an embossing folder with black gesso inside. That was the first video. Can you just pop those over on the side for me, Cleo, while we talk about the next one? Just put them up there somewhere. Thank you. The next one, um, we I used this, you know what colour is it called? Yellow Limes. Can you see that? It says Yellow Limes Opal Polish. But we didn't use an embossing folder. We used to die. We used used it. We used die cuts with a little black um, distress oxide added to it onto black card. So that was the second experiment. Now, can you put those away with? Thank you so much. It's so useful to have a, a helper doing stuff. So what I want to try and do today is this: several changes. Rather than using black gesso. I'm going to use the same embossing folder and you can see it's no worse for having been black gessoed. It does clean up easily. Um, today we're going to try with black soot distress oxide. But instead of using opal, what are they called? Opal polishes, I'm going to try using indigo blue luscious pigment powder and what color is it Cleo? Dragon's Eye. Dragon's Eye. So we've, I've got two schools of thought for this. To use this powder it needs some kind of medium to be able to be attached to card. So water, ink, glue, whatever. It does need something to attach it to card. However, if we make it into a paint and paint over a distress oxide, this is a water-based ink and might well run. So we've got a cunning plan, haven't we? We're going to do one, one side of the, the, the card with a paint that Cleo's going to paint for me. And we're going to use the other side using Versamark and dry powder. I have got another couple of different powders here, which may well work, but I can't do all of them in one in one video. So I've got a pixie powder there, which is peacock green. And this one is... Mermaid. Mermaid. You'd like that one. It comes out differently from gold looking. We'll have a play with that one later, Clear. Yeah. Right. First thing. You're going to push your sleeves up out of the way because we're going to be using black ink. Now, we're going to use the side of the embossing folder where the flowers are depressed. Can you feel the flowers stick up on that side? Can you feel it? Yeah. They stick up. We don't want to put the ink on that side. We want to put the ink on this side. So what I would like you to do, I'll just start and then I'd like you to finish it. Just put it flat on the top and then just drag it yeah. over. And I want to try and get ink all over the, the flat bits, okay? Okay. Try it. All over. Keep going. It's in the corner. Right, how, how do you think we're doing? Do you think the legs are okay? Oopsie daisy. Doesn't matter about that. It doesn't matter. Okay? Should we try it? Yeah. Okay. Right. There. Right. This into the embossing folder. Now this is going to be tough to wind, young lady. Just wait a moment. I've got to put. I've got to put the, t the top plate on. Okay. Off you go. One strength. Oh, two hands. Oh, goodness me, this is hard going, isn't it? Oops. It's harder than cutting a die, isn't it, Cleo? Yes, I cannot believe it. 
Are you both there? <laughs> yes. Right. Let's, let's have a look oh, and see what not. it looks like, shall we? Ooh, what do you think? Whoa. What do you think of that? Good. That looks nice, doesn't it? I'm just going to give this a little wipe, Cleo. Okay. Um, it should come off quite easy because it's a yeah, water-based ink. But yeah. I think if we try it again with a different ink, it might be a bit more tricky to get off. But mm. this comes off really easily. Now, this is going to be the fun part, Cleo. Yeah. Right. The next bit, I want you to use this. Yeah. And... There's kind of an imaginary line down the middle. Yeah. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is, it's a dirty one, doesn't matter because of the mm. ink there. Is that all dry? Can you think that's dry? Should we just leave it a bit more? Feel, what do you think? Feels dry? Is it coming up? Just a bit. So Tell me what, can... shall we give it a little whiz with this? Yay! Okay. Can I do it? Yep. Don't cover up the holes, otherwise it might get too hot, all right? Okay? Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, because this is an ink, I've got a dirty old pad. I don't want to use my nice clean one. So, over the top, like you did with that on here, can you drag that across yeah. just down one side? Okay. One more time. Start at the top and drag it down again. Okay. Now, we'll try and see what happens on this side. Um, what I'm going to do, I want you to give me a very... I'm going to hold this a long way away. Because I said that this needs something to make it stick to the yeah. paper. On the, on the black bits, that pad didn't reach, did it? So... I want you to give it a very gentle mist of water. You okay. can squeeze this and I'll waft it through the air, okay? Squeeze it into the air. Again, over there somewhere. Again. What? <laughs> you went on this side, that side. Ah. Okay, that'll do. Let's try it. Should we try it? Now, very gently, what I'd like that you to do wrong. is pick up one of those fluffy brushes. Okay. And hold this in one hand. And I want you to very gently, let me just show you, first of all, dip it in like this yeah. and then just tuck it off like that. And I want you to just go over the side where we've just sprayed and twinkled and put the ink on, okay? Yeah. Just across that side there. Just no, not there. this side, just that side. Like all over? Yeah, all over, everywhere. Keep going, all over, everywhere. more over the black as well oh i didn't tap okay okay What do you think? Good. Don't come on this side because we're going to do something else on this side, okay? No, not this side. Just, just yours. This is my side. You keep on your side and I keep on my side, okay? All right, let's have another look this on the bits that we haven't got any on. I think we might need, to, you might need to give it another little just another little spritz of water in a minute because otherwise this powder isn't going to stay and it it's isn't still going... drifting off into the distance oh my goodness all right give it another oh joy let me just put the lid on this a minute first okay give it another little spray you're gonna spray <laughs> <laughs> she sprayed herself instead of <laughs> go go on don't get me. <laughs> go, no, go on, get on with it. At the top as well. Okay. 
And a bit more. Can you see it's making it turn gold on the black now? Can you see that? Yeah. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Oh, down the bottom. Okay, and the top again. Okay. Right, now this side we're going to do something different. What I'd like you to do is this. We're going to put some water into here. All right, let's just put a bunch of water into there. Okay. Now, I want you to dig out some of this powder yeah. and mix it up. Dig a, put a couple of, of the, these okay. in, okay? Like we did before. Do you remember when we were doing the, the shaving yeah. foam? Do you remember that? Is this enough? Yeah, put it in. Okay, and then some more. And again. Okay, that might be enough. Let's try. Let us try. Now, can you see that big fat brush there? Uh, yeah. Let's have that one. Mm -hmm. Now, let's mix this up. Can I? Yes. Mix it up carefully. Okay. Now, I want you to paint. Like, just go straight down on that side. Okay. Let me just see if it's mixed up enough. Let's just have a little test on here. Mm. Might need a bit more. I might have put too much water in clear. Let me just... Oh, we let's... could put some more powder in. That's what, you know, that's just what I was thinking. Okay, in you go. Put some more in. Okay. Let's put the lid on. Right. Okay, stir up. I can't see. Oh, sorry. Gently. Okay, let me have a look. Are we all stirred up? Looks like... Okay, try it now. Start at the top and just drag straight down the whole thing. Or should we have a test first? You can do. Good idea. That's thick. That's more goldy now, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Start right at the top. That's it. Look at that. Right down until you meet the other bit, the other side. Then you can have a look and decide which you think is the best side. Put a bit more, put a bit more of the mixture on there. Down here. Wow, look at that clear. There's a bit there at the very edge, but we don't probably need that bit. Right, let's have a look and see what we think. Let's look at it the right way up. Which shall we dry it off a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which side do you think you prefer? I'll ask you in a minute. That one. Mm. One of our tests, wasn't it? Okay, I think that will do for just let's have a look. Now, you it's very different, isn't it? The two sides. Well, the thing in common is it's both blue. Well, it, we used the same powder, didn't we? Yeah. And isn't it interesting? We've made two different looks from the same powder. One. This one was with... What do we mix with that one? Dragon. Dragon's eye, eye. Water. and water. And what do we? What was different about that side? We used. Uh, we used uh, the dirty ink pad. The dirty ink pad. <laughs> we used the dirty ink pad. So there you go. Cleo and I are going to have some fun later on. We might make some cards out of these. So if you don't have an opal powder, an opal polish, but you do have. One of these powders, like a pixie powder, Pretty Gets Gritty, Luscious. There are various makes on the market that you can, you know yourself when you've used them, there is more than one colour in there. So you can have a go and see if you can get the same effect, even if you don't have an opal powder. Opal polish. What do we say to all the nice ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.